In this episode, find out how to create a Be Right Back player to play back clips of your channel whilst you're away. Continuously looping through, finding random clips to entertain your stream over and over. Hello and welcome to Stream Robot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Stream Robot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. So the first thing we need to do is to create a scene for the BR Outback videos. And we call it BRB in capitals. It doesn't matter what you call it, as long as you take note of it. Within sources, I need to have a be right back text just to so to show we are on the correct scene for my testing. But what we do need is a browser. And with this browser source, we're going to call it BRB browser. Again, doesn't matter what it's called as long as it's taken note of. The URL should be about blank. Width, keep it the default, 800, 450 for the height. Nothing else needs to be selected, including the local file option. You may want to control audio via OBS. And what that'll allow you to do with, with that is then to be able to do the um, advanced audio properties when it's actually playing a video and configure the audio that way. So for this, we're just going to move this loosely around. Doesn't really matter so much for now. I'm sure you can get it fitting into the scene and customizing the BRI back scene as you want to. So this is all we need to set up for OBS. And to set up stream import, we import the code from the description below. Placing the import string. Please note you may need to remove a extra space at the end, depending on how the copy and paste has gone. We'll import both those actions. We need to configure the BRB video player action first. So first we have the, the, the browser source itself within the scene and then the scene. So we set up the scene to be capital BRB. And the BRB browser is what we set the browser source to be. You then need to select the streamer. So just change the name to be the streamer name. Of course, I won't change that here. You can download the file and change the format like this, but for this example, we're gonna keep it purely on the vrflad.com page. So each time the be right back player is engaged, it downloads a fresh copy. So if there's any changes or improvements in that file, it will then automatically have those, but you can simply go to the web page, download that. We can make sure the code compiles by double clicking in here, clicking on compile. You don't need to add in additional references here, I believe, so that should be okay. Finally, we need to set up a command. So, exponential BRB for the BRB video player. You probably want to moderators only to engage that. So this means that your moderators could actually run this command and it will trigger the bureau at back for you. That's it, now we're ready to test. Now all we need to do is test. Use the bureau at back command. You'll notice we're not seeing one at the moment. The bots will then take a few moments to pull the clips, change it to be at back scene and start playing the clips one by one. Now the bot will continue to play clips whilst the be right back scene is active. So all you need to do is to change the scene to stop the be right back player. And at this point, when the clip is finished, the time the bot will then go back and clean up after itself. Finally, a walkthrough of the actions. Firstly, the failed BR at back. 
is just where it's handling it's not a valid streamer for the Bureau at Back. So the Bureau at Back video player, we've got the different settings being here. Uh, these are globals because they've been persisted from the video shout out. But I've used arguments, which is a slightly better way to do it here to define the streamer. And then we set up the global file uh, for the shout out file, um, which is the B right back player. Uh, this again, like I said earlier, can be changed if you want to customize it further, but most people will just be happy with this. We need to add a target for from information from streamer. Now this is slightly different. It's the streamer variable, which is what we're setting up above. So we're always getting the Twitch information for effectively yourself. If that is not worked correctly, then we trigger the failed be right back and stop processing. Otherwise, we jump to the code here. We pull on the scene and source from the settings in the sub action further above. We get the username, so it's pulling the information we've got from Twitch, the target user. We're then using the inbuilt function cph.getClipsForUser. So we're going to get a bunch of clips for the user. If you don't have clips, we handle that gracefully and we return false, which stops the processing of anything else. Otherwise, we have clips we need to process. We define the scene. So we switch to the be right back scene. Again, it's configured above in the sub actions, not in the code. We wait for a second. So it's 1000 milliseconds we're waiting here. We then set up some variables which we'll be using within what's known as a while loop. This means we're going to keep running this code and the code is evaluating each time, getting the current scene. And if that is the scene that we'd find to be the be right back, we're going to keep running this loop. So by the time we get to the bottom of this code here, so we look at this line when we go down, if we get to the bottom of that, if it's still on the current scene, we will then continue. We get a random number and then we define that in to be a value between zero and the total number of clips. We then, much like the video shout out player, pull information. So broadcaster title, URL, duration, user. We build up a Twitch URL, which we can use as an embed clip if we wanted to in the future. That's there just to, just in case we need to change things. Depending on Twitch, they may change things in the future. We then build out, the, um, starting with a video player file, the shout out file. So this could be the vrflad.com address or local file. Then we add on top of that things like the user. So the user's broadcaster name, which is obviously going to be yourself. The image, if you want to use that. The video itself. And the thumbnail URL. What we then do is we pull the delay together. And so we know how long the clip needs to play for. And we pass that along in case that's needed as well. We then set the browser source of what we've defined in the settings to be the video player file, wait for a short delay, additional to the, to the delays we've got. And what we'll do then is it'll go back to the top if it's still on the Bureau of Back scene. As soon as it's not on the Bureau of Back scene, we set the browser source to blank and then we return true. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.